Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the Google Data Scientist interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. For context, the Google DS interview process can be very different for different openings, and our goal is to get you ready for the most common situations you'll face. As a quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This overview has been put together by Google data scientists who are also interview coaches on Prepfully, the very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. This is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide, which I've linked below. And you can also book time with the Google coaches directly for a more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Okay, then moving on to the overview. As a part of the Google Data Scientist interview, the candidate will go through three primary rounds. The first, a recruiter screening round. The second round will be a technical screening round. The final round is an on-site round, where you will meet multiple data scientists and potentially a hiring manager. Let's talk about step one first, the recruiter screening. During this conversation, the recruiter will inquire about your DS background and relevant projects to gain a comprehensive understanding of your experience and skills. They will assess your skill sets based on the information provided in your resume and ask questions about your proficiency in areas such as statistical analysis, machine learning, programming, and data manipulation. The screening will also evaluate your cultural fit within the company or what Google typically refers to as Googliness, ensuring that you align with Google's values and collaborative work environment and will be a good fit for the company. Some tips for getting you through this round. Make sure to brush up on your previous work experiences and have specific projects to discuss from each role. Before the interview, take some time to organize your thoughts and reflect on your contributions, successes, and areas for improvement. Keep your answers concise and to the point. This is very important for candidates to keep in mind because derailed answers can often make the interviewer lose interest. Have a solid reason for why you're interested in working at Google and why you believe you would excel there. Be prepared for the common opening question of, so tell me about yourself and have a brief introduction ready to go. Next then is step two, the technical screening. This round focuses on evaluating your technical skills in statistics, probability, and basic coding. For the coding questions, you can expect questions that require data manipulation, data intuition, and statistical analysis. Unlike applied situations or A-B testing, this round emphasizes math and stats-based questions to assess your foundational knowledge. During the technical screening, the interviewers will also closely examine the projects listed on your resume. They will ask detailed questions to understand your role, contributions, and the technical aspects of these projects. Some Prepfully candidates also reported being given a hypothetical business question in which you will be asked about which metrics you would use to trace the successful validation or invalidation of a hypothesis, or potentially something more abstract, such as how you'd measure the success of a product. So be on the lookout for such questions. We have two tips for these rounds. First, be prepared to talk about your experience and background in machine learning, as well as your knowledge of ML frameworks and tools. Make sure to highlight your relevant skills and experiences that match the job requirement. Second, be ready to talk about your previous work experience and how you have collaborated with team members and stakeholders to achieve project goals. The third and final step is the on-site interview round where you will meet multiple DSs. This round typically consists of several rounds designed to assess different aspects of your skills and qualifications. Note that these rounds can sometimes change to specialize more on a specific domain you might be applying for. The most common interview rounds that candidates reported facing are behavioral or googliness round. This round focuses on evaluating your fit within the company culture and assessing your behavioral attributes. Expect questions about your past experiences, contributions, and the alignment of your value with Google's culture. Most questions you face will either take an experiential form, i.e. tell me about a time you faced X, Y, or Z, or a situational form. How would you handle X, Y, Z situation? Generally speaking, our recommendation is that for both types, try to find real world examples of situations you faced. Craft them into stories and use these to deliver key messages that demonstrate your alignment with Google's key values. Stats and probability round. 
in this round, you can expect a range of heavily technical statistics and probability questions. The focus will be on assessing your proficiency in these areas, and you may be asked to solve complex problems and explain statistical concepts in detail. Product interpretation round. The specific focus of this round may vary depending on the domain in which you are applying as a data scientist. For example, if you are applying in the advertising domain, you can expect questions related to advertising subject matter. The emphasis may be more on market knowledge rather than a computer science or algorithms. Technical round. This round can vary depending on the team you are interviewing for. You may encounter questions related to A-B testing, applied situations, or be asked to design a system based on provided data. Metrics and experimentation round. In this round, you can expect questions that evaluate your understanding of essential data science and machine learning concepts, such as regression and performance metrics. These questions will be focused mainly on the performance metrics part. Apart from the stuff we've already covered, we have a specific tip for the metrics and experimentation round. Google DS interviewers heavily focus on metrics and experimentation. Interviewers go quite deep both into which metrics you choose, so be prepared to think about the why and also of the edge cases and proxy metrics you may want to use to drive insights. Also, brush up a bit on casual inference techniques beyond raw A-B testing, since this knowledge can come in very handy if you face particularly unique situations. Finally, be aware of the limitations of different techniques so you know where not to use them as well. Good, that's all from me. Once you feel ready for some practice or just want to sense check your preparation level, you can book an anonymous mock interview with a data scientist from Google on Prepfully. There's a link in the description below. In addition, I've linked to a bunch of useful resources in the description, most of which are free. There's a written guide, there are several interview questions. If you have any follow-up questions about the interview itself, ask in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.